Hi, I'm Angela White with Carolina Biological Supply Company. In this video, I'll show you why using Wisconsin Fast Plants is great for introducing genetics to your students. There are several types of fast plants with contrasting traits. Let's look at the genetic crosses that can be made using the purple stem, non-purple stem, and yellow-green leaf. This purple stem fast plant has normal height, green leaves, and a purple stem. Here's a non-purple stem fast plant that doesn't produce purple pigment. Notice it has a green stem. And this one here is a yellow-green leaf fast plant. These traits of purple and non-purple stem and green and yellow-green leaf are inherited. Students can study the inheritance pattern of each trait by making crosses. Here we'll take pollen from a purple stem plant and use it to pollinate a non-purple stem plant. When we plant the seeds from this cross, all the seedlings, the F1, have purple stems. Purple is dominant to non-purple. If we grow the F1 plants and pollinate them, the recessive non-purple stem trait reappears in the offspring, the F2. If we cross the purple stem with a yellow-green leaf plant, the F1 have normal green leaves like the purple stem parent. Yellow-green leaf is recessive, but the yellow-green leaf trait reappears in the F2. Students can also study the inheritance of two sets of traits by crossing a purple stem plant with a non-purple stem yellow-green leaf plant. To view our complete line of fast plant products and activities, visit us at carolina.com slash fastplants. Thank you.